So today I am going to show you the uh, simple graph using the function that how we can uh, calculate the function inside the Excel, how to insert the formula inside the Excel and then uh, how we can graph the function. So you can see that uh, there are number of columns A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and the rows are number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. So we will start from a very simple function like we have the function y is equal to x square. So this is x square. So the function is x square which is the parabolic function. So I will use these two columns C and D and for example this is Y X. So X is the independent variable and Y is a function of X. Uh, I will write it as function, function of X. So I will insert some arbitrary numbers, minus 10. I will drag these numbers uh, from the corner. You can see the plus sign and then I drag it. So it replicate the values. From here you can see this is, if this series, So if you want to calculate x square, so you will uh, push the equal button, equal, and then x is the c column starting from the sixth row. So c6 multiply by, and then again press the c6 cell and then enter it. So minus 10 multiply by minus 10 so it gives you 100. Then when the plus sign appear on the corner of the cell you will drag it down then it will calculate the function. Right? So this is how you can uh, if you have multiple variables and number of columns so you can do simple functions uh, you can apply the function just by pushing the equal sign and then uh, multiply or divide or uh, square root even you can define and you can define different uh, complex functions and you can calculate it very easily. So uh, now we will plot this function y is equal to x square. So I select these, then go there, insert, then. Uh, so this is how we draw the graph. So it is very simple that you select all these two columns and then insert, then you can simply draw the graph. Now, uh, how we can define the excess titles, you can define the excess titles here, uh, you can define the legions, right, uh, so excess, you can see the x values, and this is y is equal to f of x. So this is the basically this is the x square value. y function of x is x square. So this is x square values. Okay. The next thing is that how you can uh, format this graph area. How can you control the window of this graph. So this is very easy. 
and you can see this when you double click so on the right side there are a number of options available so you will click the access option then access option so you can see that it has some limits minimum and maximum you can see that it start from minus 15 to 15 so you can control this window uh, for example I selected minus 5 to 5 and then if I control the window for example 0 to 20 so I will click the vertical axis so this is 0 to 120 this is the current limit so you can edit it 20 so this is how uh, you can control the window of the graph by just uh, use the different bounds for the x axis and for the y axis simply for example I say uh, 0 to 6 so the graph is changing the graph actually the graph is not changing but the visual effects of the graph is changing you can see uh, previously we select the 20 so it looks like it spreads along the x axis but when we select the uh, 4 or 6 then it squeezes so you can form, uh, format the graph area uh, by just this is the chart titles you can give it a title mm. similarly by uh, clicking on this you can format different color fonts the line you can select it like this or you can change the width of the graph similarly uh, you can select a different marker this is round shape so there are different marker options you can select square one so it now change to square or you can select triangular so these are the format options available for the graph so from to simple to complex functions you can interpret here in the excel graph and then you can plot uh, these graphs similarly you can plot two graphs on the same plot uh, simply you should select the right click select data and then you can add any series so x select the x and select the y so if the x-axis is the common so you should select this x-axis and then you should uh, for example this is x so select this one and then y so you should select the other one here there is no graph and then name, give it name for example, this is second function. Then you can edit this was the first function. Okay. And if I give here XQ, for example. Say this is x cube multiply by this multiply by this so now it do not look uh, correct so we have to adjust the values of the we have to change it So now these values are from 100 to 100 and these values are very higher so the first graph looks like just a linear line 
So these are the effects of the x-axis. So we have to uh, plot it separately because if we plot on the same graph, so we cannot visualize the first graph. So it is better uh, to plot it on the separate graph. But if you have the uh, values smaller than that, so you can comparable values, then you can plot it on the same graph. So here, uh, if we plot it on the same graph, so it will not be once on x axis. This is uh, minus ten, minus fifteen. So you can see some effects of the x cube, but you cannot visualize the x square. Uh, so for this, you can do some other things. Uh, you can define the secondary uh, y axis in the Excel. So if you change chart type, you select it, and then. You select combo. So on the secondary axis, you can plot this is nine. This is also nine. If I make it okay, so now you can see. That there are two axes. One is the secondary axis, which is defined for this graph, and this one is defined for uh, the first function. So in this way, you can <coughs> define the uh, two axes on the same graph, but still it is not looking good. So you can make it more better. Clicking on this, so the zero must be coincide with this axis. So I will make it axis value. So I have to select zero. So by selecting this, uh, the vertical line, so if I select this, minus 50, so this is one axis, y axis, and this one is the uh, secondary axis for this graph. So now it looks uh, in a better way. So you can do different formatting techniques. You can adjust the drawing area. These are the legions. So this is all about the uh, plotting the function, calculating the function, 
uh, inside the Microsoft Excel. I hope it will be useful and beneficial for you. Thank you for So thanks for watching this video.